Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, April 23rd, 2018. Looking at the precipitation over the past 14 days, you can see that much of the precipitation has uh, remained across the northern part of the Great Basin, uh, and it really has been below normal for much of the area over the past two weeks. As far as snowfall, there was a small bit of snowfall that fell across the southwestern part of the area, mainly across the higher elevations. And as far as snow depth, which you can see from the map on the right, it's really just confined to the highest elevations at this point. Our fuels are beginning to dry. You can see from the 1,000-hour one hour, 1, hour, uh, fuel moisture chart that they're um, already quite dry across the so southern part of the areas uh, in the 6 to 10% range across parts of southern Nevada, the Arizona Strip, and southeastern Utah. Looking at 100-hour fuel, so, so those are also drying um, with many areas in the 6 to 10% range. And finally, looking at the 10-hour fuel moisture, uh, those are also quite, ro quite low with some areas in the far south reporting um, the three to, in the 3 to 4% range. So just comparing those three charts to each other, you can really see how, um, no surprise, across the south where it's been the driest, our fuels are also the driest. Satellite this morning shows a disturbance moving through the Great Basin. That brought some rain to the northern parts of the area, but that will quickly move off to the north and the east today. So for today, we are looking at high pressure building across the area. You can see from the ventilation index map on the right, uh, the ventilation index will be the poorest across the west where we see that high pressure building. Looking at that in a little more detail, you can see those light winds and the low mixing heights associated with that high pressure building across the west. As we move into Tuesday, uh, pretty much the same picture with high pressure building. Um, we have that lower ventilation index across portions of Nevada and Utah. Looking in closer detail at Tuesday, uh, you can see some increased winds across southwestern Idaho, but for the most part, uh, transport winds will be quite, li quite light, uh, which is why we have that lower ventilation index. As we move into Wednesday, we do start to see a storm system impacting the Great Basin. That will improve things a bit across the western part of uh, the Great Basin as far as the ventilation index goes. Looking at that in more detail, uh, you can see uh, the mixing heights improving with that system moving into the area. So over the next three days, uh, looking at the forecast clearing index from the Salt Lake City Weather Forecast Office, uh, you can see a decreasing trend for Utah through Wednesday. 3-day precipitation accumulations are expected to be quite light, um, and any precipitation that does fall will be focused across eastern Idaho and far northeastern Utah. So moving to Thursday, that uh, low pressure system stays in place across the Great Basin. Uh, we will start to see winds increasing across the southern part of the Great Basin. On Friday, that weather system is in pretty much the same place. It's not moving uh, too quickly. We will see some precipitation and cooler weather across uh, northwestern Nevada and western Idaho, but conditions will remain hot and dry and windy across the southeastern part of the area. And with that weather system in place, we are looking at excellent mixing across the entire area on Friday. As we move into Saturday, that system uh, slowly moves east into the Great Basin. Um, unfortunately, we're not looking at too much precipitation with this on Saturday, um, though those windy conditions will continue across the southeast. And moving into Sunday, we continue to see the unsettled weather across the Great Basin. We will see excellent ventilation indi indices with, again, another day of very strong winds across southeastern Utah. So in the four to five day period, despite that uh, weather disturbance in place across the Great Basin for much of that period, really the only precipitation um, expected is again across portions of western Idaho and northwestern Nevada. An eight to 14 day outlook at the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures across the entire Great Basin with above normal precipitation across uh, portions of Utah, the Arizona Strip, and uh, southeastern Nevada. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter.